Hey guys, welcome back to another video. I wanted to make this video to showcase my circuit board for my next rocket. It's kind of like the other ones that I made, but it's, it's got a few additions. This is pretty cool. There's a few things that we need to improve on, but we'll cover that in the video, so let's go. Okay, so this circuit is meant to record data while the rocket is in flight and deploy the parachute at Apogee. Uh, so here are the things that uh, the circuit does. Uh, it saves all the data twice a second to an onboard SD card. Uh, it records altitude, uh, temperature, humidity. Uh, it's got a gyroscope that uh, gives readings in the XYZ axis. Uh, it tells, tells me if the rocket flew straight or spun or basically where it's at in 3D space. Uh, the accelerometer uh, also reads an XYZ axis, uh, tells me in three dimensions where the acceleration was. Uh, it, it, it's got a compass, it tells me, uh, you know, northeast, southwest. Uh, it's got GPS capability, it gives a speed time, uh, real time, uh, GPS lock, um, and the coordinates. Um, it's got a wireless card, which allows me to transmit information up to 400 feet, uh, and it's meant to be to custom made controller which uh, displays relevant information. Um, after the rocket touches down a buzzer sounds and the rocket will transmit its GPS location back to the launch controller once it becomes in range. Um, I can also save the highest altitude reach, save the initial altitude, uh, save the minimum and maximum of all the variables and print them out uh, after the circuitry basically shuts down. Uh, sounds buzzer transmit its landing location. Uh, as for improvements, I'd like to move on uh, to using from using uh, nine volt batteries to uh, to lipo batteries um, and have the ability to charge batteries uh, on the board. Um, I'd like to extend the range of the wireless capability. Uh, I got a few ideas uh, I'm working on. Um, and I'd also like to make a software program uh, for Windows that will load the, load the data, display the raw values, um, and, and with graphs and all that, um, both be able to save the data and print uh, both formats. And uh, yeah, finally I'd like to get this the entire thing on its own PCB board, but we'll see what happens. So in the beginning, this idea first came about was focused around a handheld wireless launch controller that could send wireless data back to the controller while in range. Um, it's got a power button. Uh, this button here was it's, was meant to display uh, the range, what your range is, or reception pretty much. Um, launch button, of course. Uh, you need the toggle switch and the key to, uh, to arm the system. It's got the LEDs that indicate what uh, what stage that the controller is in and then uh, it displays out on on this uh, what is it it's like a 4x32 or 32 x 4 I, I, I'm not sure I can't remember um, but this one this module both it's a, it uses uh, 9 volt batteries and I want to get moved to uh, the light poles like a better one uh, an extended in our, our external um, antenna on the back um, and then like a charging port uh, where you can plug in your lipo battery charger so anyways guys uh all this has come a long way in the past year uh these are like my prototypes um i think they're actually pretty cool and so i thought i'd showcase them in this little video um especially this guy before uh it gets inside a rocket um once it's inside a rocket its fate is unknown uh and hey if you guys are still watching this far i guess i just wanted to say thanks for watching really fun cool hobby i enjoy it very much um it looks like you probably do too so hey thanks again please subscribe for more youtube content like this press the like button if you like this video share it with your friends and on your social media outlets we'll see you guys in the next video hopefully with a rocket launch